everyone, it's Master Wong here. It's another beautiful day again. We in to June now to do some training. Now, as you know, summer is right here and I will be here to answer and doing some movement to help you on this training here. A lot of you asking me about the basic movement of the Wing Chun technique that you can practice, okay? So here is my top five Wing Chun movement that you must learn to understand this. That way, when you start to practice, it becomes so much more easier for you. So, some of you new here, haven't surprised me yet, make sure you're whacking the bell so hard, then the ma, the cannot recognize them when they start to see you on this channel. Practice the basic Wing Chun on it, okay? So let's get started. So, the first basic Wing Chun movement you must learn to understand is a basic punch. Hmm. The punch is very important. When you start the learning to using the punch, the fist must be grabbing tight like this in, okay? The finger have to be outside. Everything nice and tight. It's like hard when it comes into attack. The attack with this knuckle. Okay, and I will leave the last movement to the end. So when you're watching fools and you understand. So the hand position when you punch, it have to be in the position as you punch. The wrist have to be going straight like this. Okay, don't go like this too much because you're going to be break when you're hitting the contact. Straight on when you're punching. This hand coming, <laughs> punch, using your waist when you practice. <laughs> 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 this is important. While you contact your hand, see, your hand, you're punching right through the person as you are attacking them, the way it's coming in. So this is very important. That's a number one basic movement. The first thing you learn to understand is the punch to getting that. So need to remember that as you punch it, practice them daily. The second one is a basic movement, tan. Tan sao. Tan sao is when the punch come in, you die. Versing the punch coming out. Okay? You die versing the punch coming out. You die versing them. As you die versing them, you can be able to do many different things because you upset your opponent, the center line. When you upset the center line, you can able to using your punch to do them. Okay? Later on, on to the next, uh, a week, a week after, I will go through the combination you need to apply them in to helping you. So the tan sound, the tan sound is important. Like that, turn waist. Hand coming from this side and using this to like, like the waist. Flick hand, okay, tan sound on here. This is important. If you have a dummy, this hand attacking the arm here, okay? So when you're moving that hand, your hand, you're turning, you're turning. As you're turning your waist, upset the center line. That's the whole idea of it. Upset the center line while you're doing it, okay? So that's important to learn to understand that. The second of the beautiful five technique of the Wing Chun you learn is Tan. Hmm. 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 Get a Tan sound. Hand have to be in the middle because then you can use it to doing all different things. The next, the next one, Number three on the list is the pack sound. The pack sound is very important. When you practice, make sure your hand using this like you pack, you pack, okay? You're turning. As you're turning again, you're diverting your opponent attack outside of your center line. So you are attacking their center line as your pack sound coming out. The principle the same, ways, Arm and palm. <laughs> Power. <laughs> <laughs> finger bring it together like this. That way you don't get your finger broken that easily. Okay? As you go through this, if you got any question, comment below here and I will be here to answer all the questions for you. Okay? So from here, pass out. Turn, 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 turn. Okay, this is important. As you go along, I will go through with you all this kind of movement, how to apply them in combat. It's very important. Now, pack. You're using this hand to pack, 
inside of the punch, outside, okay? Outside, pack, pack sound, outside, inside, like this, okay? So this is important to learn and use your hand to able to use a pack sound onto the third movement there. The movement that you need to learn from this, the fourth one, is the chop, okay? When you turn the movement, the chop. The chop, you're using this part of the hand. You're attacking the throat area. Your chopping is very important in a close quarter when you're using them. Very important when you start. <laughs> the hand is from this particular uh, uh, Wing Chun hand position here, like onto the Pak Sao, Tan Sao, then the chop. It's a reaching your arm like this, reaching hmm, from here, hmm, from here, hmm, from here. Hmm. So your hand from here until reaching out to directly attacking somebody's throat hmm, like this, okay? Hmm, hmm, hmm. This is very important. Why is this important? Because you're attacking the vulnerable part. It don't take very much, but it's going to be very damaging when you're attacking them. So when you came in here, that is where the hand is, okay, like that. That's where you're attacking the throat on this movement here, like this. Waist, hand, here is the throat coming attack. This is important to learn to understand that. As you practice, you're learning hand, 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 hand. Using your waist, body, movement, everything you have using on that. Like I mentioned before, I leave the last one to the end. That is ultimate bong sao. Hand. This movement here is redirect energy, okay? Redirect the person as uh, it's very useful. As you go through, I will go through some basic combat movements so you understand. Very, very useful onto the movement. You can start onto the hand here, and then from here, inside. Turn, what is called a wing block, like the wing, like that. Diversing the hand or the punch coming in, okay? Hand, hmm. turn, okay, and back, turn. This is important to learn to using your waist hand. And as you're turning, your whole body, your, the attack coming in, you diverse them. Basically, you're attacking them and taking the center line on the movement here, and then come back, okay? This is very important to learn to understand that, okay? So that's it, the five C basic movement here. Turning to the bong sound from here, you practice it as you're coming in, and the hand, try to have your arm as using as you're doing this, like the bong, high bong, low. So the same thing, the principle. Elbow, hand. So that way you apply the job that you've been practice can apply. So all this movement, fire of this movement here, is very, very important to learn because that's the must for in the Wing Chun. When you understand that, you can apply them together or separately to create a change of attack on it, okay? So for instance, I go pong out here, then I go straight to the job, and then I punch straight away, and then I go pack out, I go pack out, okay? Then I, from there, come in, I go tan, straight away, tan. Here. Then for me, I drop. I drop. Then from here, I come and punch straight away, and then I bong sao. So you can change them up, and then link them in, in a sequence of drill that will helping you to get your body functional, okay? Comment below here, and tell me what you, uh, what you like about it, what you want to know more about it, and everything else. As you know, I'll comment you back, and try to help you to learn. And the most important thing is in training, into our training on the Wing Chun side. It's not just about movement and technique, but also, it's a lot to do with your virtue. Learning all this virtue, the 12 virtue, that I put on called Wudi. They're helping you to learn about discipline, determination, to helping you to become the better version of yourself. As my motto, very simple, train hard, live clean, and don't let anyone ever bully you.
remember the basic rule the way you do anything is the way you do everything keep practice come below here tell me on to the next week what you like to learn and then on to the wing chun side because on this community a group on to the wing chun all of you are asking about more wing chun movement so i just slowly ping them in and uh, introduce certain things for you okay ma song here have a beautiful day the sun coming out so go out and get some sun make your life good healthy and ready for action ma song out